Hello guys, do you know that half is equal to 1 over 2 in mathematics and 1 over 2 is a fraction? Interesting, right? Yes, that will take us to our topic for today, fraction. Fraction is defined as the number of parts into which a unit is divided. Take for instance, we have our unit to be an apple and it is divided into four equal parts. Note, every division you are making in fraction must be into equal parts. So, our apple is assumed to be divided into what? Four equal parts. So, in representing each part, we have each part to be one over four. The bottom number is determined by the total number of parts into which what the unit is divided into as you can see we divided this particular unit into one two three four four equal parts and that helps us helps us to determine the bottom number for each unit naming also assuming we succeeded in consuming two parts of this division and someone asks what fraction of the apple did you eat it's quite simple 2 over 4 why 2 over 4 is because one part is 1 and another part is also 1 so 1 plus 1 is what 2 and that is giving us the top number 2 then the total number of parts into which the unit is divided is what 1 2 3 4 and that is what determines what the bottom number. Good. In fraction also, the top number is referred to as the numerator. And the bottom number is also referred to as what? Denominator. So, note this because I'll be making use of it as we go on with the class. Types of fraction, we have basically three types of fraction proper fraction, improper fraction, and mixed fraction. Here, the proper fraction is a kind of fraction whereby the numerator is less than the denominator. Example 1 over 2, 3 over 5, 8 over 20. 0 over 2, 0 over 20, and so on. Improper fraction. Improper fraction is another kind of a fraction whereby the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Here we have examples such as 7 over 2, 20 over 3, 4 over 4. We have this because we said it can be equal to, that means the top number, the numerator can be equal to what? The bottom number known as the denominator. And we can have 16 over 6 too. They are all examples of what? An improper fraction. Mind you, fractions such as 0 over 0 is not obtainable. The reason is because we cannot divide anything, any unit into zero part. Hence, this is not existing. So, the third example of fraction is called the mixed fraction. A mixed fraction is a combination of a natural number and a proper fraction. You already know what the proper fraction is, so now what is a natural number? Natural number are counting number. One, two, three, four, five, six, so you can count to infinity. So these are natural number. Like we have in our examples here, we have two whole number, one over two. This is what a natural number. And this is how to read it. Eleven whole number, fifteen over twenty. The natural number here is eleven. Here, fifteen whole number, one over three. The natural number here is what? Fifteen. And the improper fraction is 
3, 1 over 3. Why the natural number is what? The 15. You can see. This is the proper fraction. So thank you and do have a nice day.